What's going on guys, Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another Raid Shadow Legends video. So we have a very hot topic today and it is the Primal Quartz and Primal Crystals, right? Um, I just want to give some constructive criticism back, right? Um, you know, was this implemented the best way possible? No. Um, was, you know, can there be a lot of things to change to make this better? Of course, 100%. Um, but I want to give some realistic, you know, things that they can do in game to change the, you know, maybe not the drop rates, but, you know, how players can acquire these, right? Um, the first thing I want to acknowledge is how cool is this new background for summoning, right? I really, really like this. I like the color change. Um, it's not just the plain old boring. And I, I even like the portal in the background, right? I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think um, about that new design. But um let's talk about the drop rates first of all right so um you know we have on primals we're going to be summoning rares in the pool um and it's an 82.5 percent chance to get a rare 16 percent chance to get an epic one percent chance to get a legendary and a 0.5 percent chance to get a mythical champion now uh the rares that's that's kind of a slap in the face for me. I feel like we should not have those in there, um, especially if they're going to be as hard to obtain as they seem to be, right? Um, I feel like just, you know, make it epics, you know, give us give us a 90% chance to get an epic, um, you know, give us a 9% a, a chance to get a legendary and a 1% chance to get a mythical. I feel like that would be a little bit better, right? I mean, it's still not as much as a sacred, but, you know, kind of around there, I think that's pretty solid um you know i don't know maybe i'm wrong let me know in the comments down below what would you guys like to see as a um you know <laughs> as a system for this now the mercy system is my next biggest issue right um so as for legendary champions i think 75 is pretty fair right it's not bad you get a one percent chance after 75 um or to summon one within your first 75 but it could take up to 175 primal shards right so assuming that you know you have the worst luck in the world and you have to summon 175 that is going to be kind of a killer especially because they're you know in the shop they're valued between eight to ten dollars which means it could cost you you know just shy of like you know 1500 to two thousand dollars somewhere in that vicinity um and that's if you buy them right um it's not going to cost everybody money because there's a lot of the community that's just free to play and we'll take them as is now my gripe is the mythical champions right um absolute worst luck in the game if you have it it's you know, best case scenario, if you're buying them at the packs that are currently available, um, you know, you're talking $2,500. And that's, I'm sorry to say, that's a mortgage payment for a lot of people. And if you're, you know, you're spending that much money, again, it's, I'm being a little condescending here because I am or was classified as a whale uh, way back when, when I started, you know, first going at the game. I've paused uh, on all of that quite a bit lately. So uh, not that, you know, I don't enjoy the game. I just, you know, there, there's nothing else for me and these don't entice me enough to go for it right so um you know worst case scenario you have to summon 300 shards that's not you know an easy task especially you know if you're a free-to-play player assuming that we get maybe let's say kind of weak right in in events and areas that we can you know do as a free-to-play player um you know you could acquire one a year which i think you know, maybe one to two would be fair um, because I do expect that they're going to be releasing these champions. You know, you'll probably get a couple of um, them coming in game quite a bit, you know, over the next couple of months. Uh, and hopefully maybe we even get a fusion with them. Right. But uh, the Mercy is, you know, kind of ridiculous. I mean, for, for Sacred Shards, we're getting a 2% on each one. I feel like it should be the same for the Primals. Um, and I think it should be anything, you know, at least lower down to like 125, 150. But um, let me know what you guys uh, have for suggestions down here. I do want to, you know, put a video or put something back to the community managers and let them know exactly, you know, this is what the community feels like, at least from what I have understand. Um, now, where are we going to be able to acquire these, right? Well, the first thing is you're going to get them via your login rewards, not progress rewards, sorry, via your login rewards, right? Um, on your 20th day, uh, if you haven't gotten one already, if you're like, you know, 19 or 18, whatever, you will get it. For me, I'm going to have to wait another, you know, 22 days before I can get another one. Um, and I think one 
isn't enough, but I think we should definitely get a little bit more. Now, the other place you're going to be able to get them, it looks like we're going to be getting some from events, right? We have one in the champion training event here at 1,200 points. Usually it's a legendary book, so they added an extra milestone. Um, not too difficult to do champion training events, right? Uh, and you get some other stuff along the way. I don't think, yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to put some in these gold chests. <laughs> but uh, I would expect them to put them in the platinum chests if that's the case, right? Uh, so you're going to be able to get them through some of these events. Now, um, there's other places where we're going to be able to get the quartz, right? And that's going to happen through the Hydro Clash. The Hydro Clash, you're going to get 30 to 75 quartz. Unfortunately, I feel like that's too low. Um, I feel like we should get quite more for the effort that players are putting into this, right? Um, it's really, really kind of slap in the face, right? And the fact that, you know, we weren't made aware that it was going to happen, the reset happened, people collected their Hydro rewards, or some players actually left their Hydro Clash rewards and didn't collect them and ended up collecting some of these Primal, right? Um, or so it might look, because I did see some screenshots. I don't know if they've been altered or not, but I did see some screenshots of players posting that they got some of these primals. Um, if you do have some, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you know, did you save yours and pulled it today so you can get it in the pool? Uh, the next place that we are going to be able to get them uh, is kind of tough because not a lot of people want to stay up till three in the morning, uh, especially in the US, but you're going to be able to get some of these primal crystals from placing in Platinum Arena. I don't know the drop rates. They haven't released those to us yet. Uh, we, you know, their, their content creators have been asking for some of this information. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see at this point when we get something and I'm able to release it, I will. Um, but as of right now, this is one of the other places. So we don't have a lot of places right now. Now, if you're one of those people that says, I'm a Kraken, I'm a whale. Well, you know, you could always go into the shop. You could spend $50 on five, which is 10 bucks a piece, which is... I can't defend that. I can't say Plarium, that's that should justify. No, no. Um, you know, if we're gonna have it at the same mercy almost as ancients and voids, they need to be around the same price if you expect people to buy them, right? That is ridiculously insane to buy them at ten dollars a piece. Uh now there are some pack deals in the shop, and I do want to warn people that right now they haven't valued at eight dollars. But if they did again what they did with the uh, soul stones where they overpriced them at the beginning and then all of a sudden the prices just started you know dropping and everybody was like oh well, that's a great deal uh that could be something that happens here so make sure you keep an open mind right um don't just you know buy everything you see if you're that person right honestly i don't think that they're a great deal um our mythical champion is going to be great yes um uh, you know but it's not anything that i'm jumping to right now i can tell you i'm not going to be purchasing any whatsoever right um now Let's talk about some of the places that they could put them in, right? Um, for Actually, first, let's talk about a, at least one good thing they did, right? They gave us one in the login rewards, right? That's a great start. Is it the best? No. Could we get more? Yes, we would definitely love to do it. We took away a sacred shard that was giving us, you know, worst case scenario, a four-star chicken and replaced it with some other stuff. Um, but let's get real, right? After 271 days, you're not using brews. The accessories you're farming in here or you're getting in here is better. They aren't going to be better than what you're farming, right? Um, the silver, not really needed. This XP, no, it, it doesn't help, right? So could we get a few more? Yeah, you gave us five of the mortal soul stones. You gave us one of the eternal soul stones. At least give us some of the quartz. Get rid of this, get rid of this and this and give us some of the quartz in there, right? Give us enough to make at least another one, maybe two through some quartz. You know, I feel like a good number for the player base to get as, you know, a free to play, not just given to, but, you know, having to put some effort into it and being on top should be about 10, right? A week, 10 a week. I think that should be fair. That way, at least somebody, everybody gets to summon one mythical champion, worst case scenario throughout the year, right? Now, that is the one good thing they did. Could be improved 100%, right? The next place I would love to see them in is during the advanced quest, right? This three-day XP, again, for, you know, long-term players and, and players that have been playing for anything over, I would like to say, three, six months isn't going to be helpful. I am currently sitting on 29 weeks of XP boost, right? So getting this is absolutely useless to me. It does not serve any purpose. So get rid of that, move everything down, and then add 
the primal stone at the back, right? I think that's going to be kind of fair or put it in the middle or in the front, whatever. I think that's going to be quite fair. The other thing you could do is use these quests, right? There's a lot of these quests that, you know, don't really make a lot of sense, right? Why do I need the charm? We're getting one forge charm. Give me five, 10 crystals, right? For doing something. I think that's fair. I think that's actually quite fair, right? Uh, in the next place that I would definitely love to see them is in the clan shop. Now for players like myself that have, you know, purchased the Yakarl, purchased the Yanaka, purchased the Arbiter skin. It's basically, we check in, did we get energy? Cool, we'll buy it up. Did we get a Void Shard? Cool, we'll buy it up. Did we get a Legendary Book? Cool, we'll buy it up. Other than that, there's nothing in this shop. Maybe if there was some Speed Glyphs um, or Charms, I'd probably buy those, but not really, right? Because I get enough through doing everything else in the game. But I think adding it in here would be a solid idea, right? The next place I would definitely, definitely love to see them in is, and something that would help a lot of players would be the bazaar, right? 3v3 arena. You want people to do this, uh, you know, game mode, give them a reason to, right? You have everything locked up behind these tiers, which I don't agree with. I think you could definitely, you know, remove the tiers and leave it as is and let, you know, take the cooldowns away even if people wanted to. Like, it's not going to hurt the economy, right? In the in-game economy. I feel like if you just add them somewhere here, right? In the bronze, you could put that, you know, they could buy 10 fragments, uh, you know, a day, Right? You don't have to give them a full Primal Court. You could give them a, or a full Primal Shard. You could give a full Primal Shard. And you can give some Quartz for players that are earlier. Um, don't gate them behind being in gold or silver. Open it up. Right, The biggest reason why players don't do this game mode is because they don't like it. They have no reason to do it. Now, in-game players like me know the value in this doing CBC and stuff like that. You know, And that's why we do it. But most players, I bet you, if you look at your analytics, not more than maybe... 80% of the players can't even be bothered to do this event, right? Or do this um, game mode, sorry. So um, the next place I would definitely love to see this in would be in Clan Boss, right? Again, you don't have to give the Shard. You can give the Quartz and just, you know, give a couple. Give a couple. Take the Silver out, take the Potions out, and just give a couple. I think people would be happy. If they can get 5 or 10 out of each chest, I think people would definitely be happy. 100%, right? Um, now, Hydra. This was okay. Not great, though, right? Uh, you guys did kind of drop the ball on this because now you're getting it behind Hydra Clash. And Hydra Clash, I mean, it's going to be a whale fest. Whoever's got the Infinity Comp team is who's going to be getting these, right? So, at the lower ends, they're getting 15 to 30. At the top ends, they're getting 30 to 75. Not even enough to do when summoned. Um, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's great at all. I think that needs to be scrapped. And what you should do is actually put the fragments in on the chest that we get in game, right? So get rid of the clan XP. We don't really need it. You know, you can give us less silver um, and just, just add the fragments or add some stones in there, right? Hydra is already difficult enough for a lot of people to do where I feel like if you incentivize them and said, hey, we're giving you an extra resource to do this, I think a lot of more players would do it, right? Because I could, you know, a lot of the sentiment that I get is people are like, I don't want to be bothered with it because it's too difficult. I don't have the champions for it. I don't have this for it. They, there's nothing for them to incentivize them to do it, right? End game players, again, they're going to do it because most of them are pushing Plat Arena and we know how OP some of this gear is coming in, right? But it's time to think about the broader community. It's time to think about everybody, not just what Playm can do to make some money, right? And let's not joke ourselves. This is gated behind 100% uh, monetization. I cannot disagree with that, right? I'm sorry. I, I just, I know I can't, you know, I, I should be nice because I, you know, am part of the cre creator program, but I still got to call the BS out when I see it. So um, I, I think, you know, those would be pretty fair suggestions to be able to acquire some of these. I think a fair estimate, again, is going to be letting the players at least get, obtain 10 through some way. Um, you know, it's not, it wasn't implemented the best way. Nothing ever is with Plarium. We all know this. Uh, they, you know, they'll take some of the feedback back. They'll change things, um, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worst, but it is what it is. Actually, the one last place we could get some, um, which I probably won't happen is in these dungeons, right? We do get the ancient shard. We could, you know, definitely get some primal quartz. I wouldn't say the, the, the shard itself, right? Um, 
but we could definitely get some primal quartz out of there. So, guys, let me know what you think. Um, you know, are you happy how it was put out? Uh, are you upset with it? Um, give me some, you know, constructive criticism to be able to feed back to them. And believe me, if you think any content creator out there is not already giving feedback back, they are. Um, and I, I, I do, do want to recognize the community managers because they get the short end of the stick because they get the community that, you know, the content creators come out and say, no, this needs to go. And, you know, you need to do this and this and that, and this is a joke. Um, so they get it from us and then they get it from the higher ups when they feed it and they say, nope not going to happen. Not this, not that. So, uh, you know, shout out to the community managers for raid. Um, you know, they're, they're doing the best they can. I acknowledge that. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is at this point in time, but guys do let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, do you agree with the suggestions that I made? What else could they do to make this better? Again, let's give some constructive criticism back. Um, let me know if there was anything that, you know, they did do right. Right. Um, I think that's also great to point out. Uh, we will be having a more in-depth discussion about this on Sunday with the rest of the Tellarian Knights at 3 p.m. EST. So make sure you guys join us then. As always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.